Hi, welcome to the 10 forumscom In this video, we will relocate the users folder to another drive on an existing Windows installation, saving storage space on system drive C. All current and future user profile folders will be placed on the new location instead of C users. In this example, I have one local account and one Microsoft account set up. To start, I need to sign in to my admin account. Right-click the Start button, select Admin Command Prompt. All existing user accounts need to be deactivated before relocating the users folder. Then reactivate it after the relocating has been done. To do that, we need to first activate the built-in administrator account and sign in to it. Sign out from your own account, sign in to built-in admin account. By default, the built-in administrator account has no password. Click Sign In. Open an admin command prompt. Deactivate all current user accounts. In this example, I need to deactivate my local account, Kari, and my MS account, 10Forums. The accounts have been deactivated and are no longer shown as active accounts. However, the accounts still exist and their user profile folders are intact. We can now start the relocating process. I have prepared a secondary hard drive E for the users folder and have the Windows install media and the all important install.wim file on drive D. To get the answer file code needed, I will browse to the 10forums.com. Notice that Edge and other Windows apps cannot be opened when signed in with a built-in admin account. Instead, I open the Internet Explorer by typing iExplore.exe in Run dialog and clicking OK. Go to 10forums.com Click Tutorials Search for Users folder Open the tutorial You will find the answer file code in tutorial under Method 1 Step 2. Copy the code and paste to a new text file in Notepad. The tutorial tells you which details to change. In this example, I have to change the processor architecture to x86 because I am installing a 32-bit Windows. 
the new location for the users folder to be on drive E and finally the location of the install media I'm using the install.vim file to be on D sources folder. I also check that the Windows edition given is correct. Save the file naming it as you wish with an extension XML. In this example I name it relocate and save it to the root of the drive E, my new users folder drive. Set save as type all files and click save. Close notepad and Internet Explorer. In comment prompt CD to susprep folder. Type the susprep command, hit enter. Susprep starts now working and relocates the users folder. Windows will be automatically restarted. You have to go through the normal Windows setup process now, creating a temporary local account. You cannot use the usernames of any existing accounts. Although we deactivated them, the names and profiles still exist and the usernames are reserved. The new, but for us, temporary user account will now be created. As soon as you enter the desktop, open the admin command prompt. Now it's time to reactivate our existing user accounts. Sign out from the temporary account. As you can see, all your existing user accounts are there, but they have lost their user profile pictures. Sign in to each existing account and set the user profile picture in settings, accounts, your account.
the users folder is no longer on C drive. You can now find it on the new location chosen by you. All existing user profiles are there. All future users will be created there. Only one thing missing. Sign in to your local admin account and remove the dummy account, the temporary account you created after the SysPro. That's it. We have now successfully relocated the users folder to another drive to save space on drive C. More Windows 10 news, tips, videos and tutorials at the 10forums.com.